After viewing this video, you'll know how to navigate to the different modules in Sage Construction Management. The logon screen is the best place to start learning about navigating in Sage Construction Management. First, you'll be asked to supply your company ID. Then, you'll specify your username and password and click sign in. When you first log in, you're always taken to the home page. The alerts tab shows you any upcoming tasks due. In another video, we will talk about how to set up alerts to appear here. When we hold our mouse over the black bar on the left, we see all the different modules listed. We'll click expand menu at the bottom to leave the wider menu visible. Throughout this course, you'll learn about all of the modules in this list. For now, I'm going to show you some of the common themes, so you get a feel for how to navigate these pages. Let's start with contact management. The overview page for each of the modules has some basic elements. The search box at the top lets you quickly find a specific company or person. The stats section shows how many records I have for each type. For contact management, the types include active and inactive companies, contacts, and employees. Click on the underlined number, which is greater than zero, to the right, to go to that list. Let's select active companies. Throughout the system, most list windows, like this one, have these two buttons in the upper right. Reports. Let's me select from a variety of report formats based on the type of record I'm looking at. The Actions button has a list of logical next steps you might take for this record type. We can click any item in the list to go to its details. Let's look at ABC Paving. At the top of each window, we find links or breadcrumbs that let us quickly get back to where we were before. We'll select Contact Management. Moving down the page, each overview page also has a checkup section showing which records have data missing. As we see, I do have companies without contacts. Let's go to that list. Once again, I click the hyperlink number, which is found to the right. Now on the companies page, we click on a company hyperlink to see the company profile. The third section down is the contacts section. Although you can import lists of companies and contacts from an Excel spreadsheet or an integrated ERP system, I'll show you how to add contacts manually just so you see how it works. We use the Add button to add a contact. Scrolling up to the top, we use the breadcrumbs to return to contact management. I'll talk much more about contact management in other lesson as this is just an overview. Let's look at the project module. In the left side navigation, we click Projects. The overview page for the projects module shows active and inactive projects. The active projects checkup area shows active projects that are potentially missing key data. In this example, we see there are projects missing data on classification, drawing, specifications, estimates, or prime contracts. Click on the number hyperlink to the right to go to a list of the projects with that particular issue. If we select classification, we see the projects in need of data. I'm looking at the card layout, which shows the project photo and other key details. I can switch to list layout if I want to see a more compressed version. We are going to go to all projects, and on the project overview page, select 24-010 Silicon Technologies. The favorites area lets you jump to the pages you use most often, and a complete list of all project-related links below. You determine which pages appear in this area by clicking Manage Favorites. Let's add drawings and specifications to my list, and then return to the project. Select Return to Application to go back. When I go to one of my favorites, I can always return to the project homepage using the breadcrumbs. If we go to the leads module and to active leads, which are projects you are bidding on or considering bidding on, we see a list showing upcoming and past due action items. 
Another feature you'll see in some modules is a calendar, showing upcoming and past due action items. When we're awarded a bid, we can quickly convert a lead to a project using a wizard. In summary, during this video we talked about how to navigate to the different modules in Sage Construction Management. We also talked about some themes running through the screens, 